how's it going? Really quick, I just wanted to throw a little disclaimer at the front of this video. I am not advocating for anyone to get one of these. I'm not trying to make a statement about whether I think it's ethical or not that these exist. I am simply sharing with you something really cool that I came across that I thought you guys would be interested in seeing. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you in the outro. Okay, so I know that you clicked on this video and now you're asking yourself, how is it possible that you're holding a whole entire world in your tiny, well-shaped hand? Listen, this is called the Original Closed Ecosphere. It is a complete, self-contained, and self-sustaining miniature world encased in glass. Or at least that's what it says on the Ecosphere website, uh, ecosphere.com, which is where I'm getting all my information. Um, also, this is definitely not a paid promotion. As you can see, inside the ecosphere are microorganisms, in this case small shrimp, there's also algae and bacteria, all existing in kind of this little bubble of filtered seawater. Um, because it's self-sustaining, that means you never have to feed it, in fact you never really have to do anything at all, you just leave it in a source of indirect natural or artificial light, and yeah, that's pretty much it, it kind of just takes care of itself. Which is kind of the dream, right? That's kind of what we <laughs> seek to do when we build our fish tanks, is we want to look into a little world, but not have a ton of maintenance. The website says that the living organisms, aka the shrimp, inside the sphere utilize the resources without overpopulating or contaminating the environment, so therefore, that's why it has no maintenance. They do come in different sizes and shapes. They have pods and spheres. Mine is obviously just a small pod, and I keep it here on the windowsill where I can get light kind of just along with my plants. They are said to have an average life expectancy of about two years. However, it's not uncommon uh, for the shrimp populations to thrive for as long as seven years. Um, mine was about a year old when I got it, and I've had it for about two years, so it's going on a pretty good amount of time. So these actually came about as the result of technology developed by scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Um, yeah, they were looking for self-contained communities for space explorers to live in during long-term space flights, which I think is super, super cool. Uh, pricing goes anywhere from about $80 for a small one all the way up to almost $500 for an extra large one. So they are really cool, but you just have to decide if they are worth that to you. Each orb comes with its own little black base, like you see here, with a little magnet to help it stay on and, you know, not roll around too much. Like I said, I do next to nothing for mine, and I love watching my little shrimp kind of just go about their lives and do their thing. Um, I hope that they're having a fun time in there. Um, they're definitely really, really cute, and it's been such an interesting experience seeing an absolutely closed ecosystem like this just thrive all on its own without any real human intervention. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, I hope that you enjoyed learning about these. I think they're so weird and cool that they even exist. I definitely enjoyed it anytime I get to sit down and talk to you guys. If you would like to be with me on my fish keeping journey, I am not going to post videos exactly like this. They're going to be more about my own fish and my fish keeping journey. Then you can definitely subscribe to my channel. You can drop a like on this video or drop a comment below if you would like to. You can also follow me over on Instagram at fun underscore fishology. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys so, so much, and I will catch you guys all again next time. Bye, guys! <music> if you made it the... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. How many times can I say like? Wow. If you would like to be with me on my fish keeping journey, I'm not going to post uh, videos... <laughs> what? You can also... <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? I don't understand. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. What? Say goodbye, Minnie! Now's your time to shine. It's the one thing you do here. <laughs> Bye, guys.